YouTube, Biker Mike here, back with a video on my boat and how I made a precision electronic throttle control for my 9.9 .9 kicker motor. I'm gonna go through everything I bought. I sourced most of the parts on Amazon. Here you can see I got a waterproof digital servo, 35 kilograms of force, which is plenty to do this. And the main thing you're gonna need if you wanna make your own, and the reason I made my own was it was just an experiment and I wanted to save a bit of money. Um, there are uh, manufacturers out there that make these kits complete but they're pretty pricey and I just wanted some basic function for mine. The ones you buy have a lot more function. Mine's just precision throttle control and that's it. There's no fluctuation of it unless you manually adjust the throttle yourself at the helm. And I'll show you how you do all that in a minute here. The first thing I purchased was Troll Masters hardware kit for their throttle control. And that is the exact kit for this 9.9 .9, uh, EFI Mercury Pro Kicker that I have on my boat. So once I had the hardware kit, it came with all the brackets to mount everything and the linkage over here that you put on. So I did all that, but I didn't want to spend the whole amount of money on their system. But like I said, their system has a little bit more functionality and mine's more of a basic system, but that's all I was looking for. So what I did was I purchased one of these servos on Amazon. It's a waterproof one, it's digital and it's brushless. So that was relatively inexpensive. Then I bought a bunch of servo wire. So it's just three wire. So it's got your positive and negative and then the control wire. And I bought some extra connections because I needed those further up the line. So I just ran this three wire all the way through, did a nice neat job all the way through the loom up into the boat. And up here, I put my power source in because these servos run on six volts and not 12. And I needed something to reduce the 12 volts from the battery to the six volts for the system. I bought one of these on Amazon to convert the 12 volt to six volt to run the uh, control system for that servo. So you can see the servo wire there. I ran it back up here to a fuse, to the power block there and the ground obviously. So that's all pretty simple, straightforward, basic electronic circuitry. And then up here at the helm, to control the throttle, I bought one of these servo motor testers. Now it has three different modes, and this is important to know, it has three different modes, but the mode you need is the default setting mode. So when you turn it on, it's set at default, and all you need to do to adjust the throttle is just turn the little dial there, and you can increase the throttle setting of the kicker motor. Obviously you still have to put the kicker motor in gear when it's running and that's as far as you move it there. And then you can make your very fine tuned throttle adjustments with this little knob right here. Now these controllers are, well, it's actually a servo tester. These servo testers are very cheap. So I actually bought two to keep one for a spare. And then the top connection is for your positive and negative six volt. Now for this top connection here, that's the actual power, the six volt power supply. What I did is I hit a little switch down underneath the dash here so I can turn it off and on just like that and you just want to put that switch in the hot wire coming from that six volt power supply you can also put another fuse in there from that power supply too if you wanted to so basically you can see how i did that i just ran this 
the wire all through the boat. So once again, the top connection is for the six volt power supply that I showed you at the battery. And then the other connection goes all the way back to the kicker motor. So you need to get a bunch of bulk servo wire and I'll leave a link in the description of where I got all these parts and they're really cheap. Like I said, this was just an experiment I wanted to try. I wasn't sure if it was gonna work, but it works really good. And when you set your throttle control, it doesn't move. It holds the servo exactly right where it is. So once you set your th throttle setting, it's not gonna vibrate loose or vibrate off and slow down like it would if you're using the handle. And it's really tricky to get those precise speeds dialed in with this handle, but it's really easy with this. Now, like I said, there are pre-manufactured throttle control kits out there on the market and they have more functionality than mine. But like I said, I just wanted to save some money and it was an experiment and it turned out that it worked great for the amount of money I have invested in it. The other thing these servo testers have is a pulse width for the servo. I'm not really 100% sure, but based on all the research I did, it needs to be set on the 250 for that servo that I bought. So, but it'll still work on the other pulse width modes, but I think the best setting is at 250. And then you just turn the, the knob and your throttle will increase and then you can just leave it there. So I mounted this down in this little storage compartment here to keep it out of the elements because I'm positive that this isn't waterproof. So just have to be careful where you mount it. And like I said, you can buy spares for really cheap. Uh, I've got a spare in the glove box and it was only like $15 for this controller. So that pretty much wraps it up with how I did this installation, this experiment that I'm really happy with how it turned out. And if you guys do a lot of trolling, you know how important it is to get your trolling speed dialed in and hold it there too. So this worked great. It was really inexpensive. All the links for all these products will be linked down in the description. And if you purchase them, that really helps out the channel. I get a small commission off each little item I sell on Amazon. So hopefully this gives other people out there an idea what they can do. Maybe you want to try this. Maybe you don't. Maybe you want to get the actual kits that have more functionality. Or maybe you just want to save some money and do it yourself like I did. So if you have a basic knowledge of electronics and 12 volt systems i guarantee you can do this just make sure you follow the instructions on the hardware kit you buy whichever one you get but it's pretty simple you can see how i routed the cable up here looped it down in there and around up into the servo make sure you don't kink that and it's pretty straightforward guys like it's not that hard to install so there you go guys a uh, quick little video on how i did my own precision digital throttle control for my 9.9 .9 kicker motor on my fishing boat. So hopefully you like that video. If you like the video, like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll probably have more content coming out on my boat and how everything works on it. So if you want to subscribe, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Biker Mike out. Mm -hmm.